back at the wood pile on Saturday. Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, the wood road. We're gonna be uh, splitting firewood today. We're gonna be cutting up this big oak piece that I was showing you guys last weekend. And um, it's about three foot around from the back. We're gonna have to cut the back in half. Uh, for this wood right here, we're gonna be using the 460. And um, for this big piece, we had to bring out the big guns and use the uh, 066. Um, we're gonna be getting this all done today. This, this piece, we're gonna, definitely gonna get done today. These pieces, we should get done today too, because we still got a lot of time. It's a real, it's a real gloomy day out here in Ohio today, so ruins the mood. And if it rains, we got an umbrella to keep us from getting wet, and we so we can still split. All this needs to get stacked right here along this wall. That's where we're stacking all this wood we get. And um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. This wood right here is gonna get stacked over here too, all of it. That's why I got the wood barrel right there. And this wood right here is gonna get stacked along the back of that wall because uh, we took some out for a wood road, wood a load. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So I hope you guys sit back and relax and watch us split and show us and show you guys how we get this this big of a piece done. Now we're gonna go around the back and cut these back pieces because uh, the, the bar is not long enough to get through the whole thing. There's a piece at the bottom. We're just we're just gonna take that piece off with the can hook. That is the biggest piece on this oak piece.
lot. Gonna put the uh, longer bar on. Nice. <laughs> we do pieces like this all the time, but we wanted to show you guys this one because we really don't show us doing a lot of big pieces. We usually show us just doing limbs and stuff. But uh, this is what we do regularly. We do limbs more often, but we get a lot, a lot of pieces this big because uh, my grandpa does a lot of jobs with uh, pieces this big. Like, he takes all the wood, as you can see there. <laughs> yeah, you, you know. But, um, yeah, th we usually do limbs and stuff, but we do these a lot, a lot. Like, often we do them. And we just wanted to show you guys this one because we really don't show us doing a lot of big pieces. We showed you guys uh, us doing the chunks, but those were already pre-cut. This one right here is going to have to get broken off 100% because this bar is not long enough. This is, I don't know what size bar this is right off hand, but we got one probably, uh, I don't know. We got one probably a foot bigger maybe or half a foot. It's pretty, he's coming back here with the can, the can hook right now and we'll show you it breaking off. Yes, the Timberwolf would pick it up, but then again, we'd have to work with it, and, you know, we don't want to go through all that trouble. Here's the piece. I missed it breaking off. I wish I could have showed you guys, but he'll show you guys Brett, this one coming off, I guess. Oh, she's on there. No, I'll just cut the tip off. Dang, that would hurt if you cut the tip off. This piece is good, a good piece, but um, you see that just, there's just a little bit of rod in there, but it's a really good piece. Like if it didn't have that blue in it, it would be for a uh, saw uh We're gonna end up just splitting these piece by piece. So since we, we got this piece off right here, we're gonna, gonna get this piece, these two pieces, and split them, and then we'll break off another piece. It'll save us trouble because these pieces are heavy, so they'll land on top of each other and we don't want that to happen. We could use the can hook, but it's way less work to just uh, work with it like this. So that's what we're gonna end up doing. I'll get back to you guys when we're splitting them. All right, see you then. Hey guys, it's the next day now. We had got caught up doing something yesterday and we couldn't finish splitting these big old pieces. But today we're gonna split a few of them for you guys to see how we do it and to show you guys that these big pieces can be split it just takes time this is all the wood we split yesterday uh and i stacked it all so i'll show you guys us splitting this and uh, that's what i'll show you guys
see that some of these pieces are getting split a little bigger. The uh, purpose of this is because this is all next year wood. So it's all intended for next year and it will have time to dry. Usually if we're cutting in like the fall, we'll split the pieces a little smaller so they'll dry quicker for uh, the winter. Cause that's when most of the calls come in. Most of the calls come in fall and winter. So that's when we like to uh, split them a little smaller so they dry faster. So uh, we can have more wood food to sell. But these pieces are getting split a little bigger for next season or next year's wood. So that's the purpose of why they're getting cut a little bigger.
all the time we have today. We did three of these pieces and I'll do the rest of them tomorrow. Uh, we got those two right here and here. I'll do those. And let me show you guys all the wood we split out of those three pieces. We got all this and that'll fill in a good portion of this pile. All this right here, you can see the color difference. This is all uh, oak, cherry. You know, cherry, this cherry wood's beautiful, man. It's about to be seasoned, too. You can, when you're, uh, well, you know your wood's dry when it makes a certain sound. So, that'll be for next year. And, and you, you'll see, some of these pieces are like, this piece, like, that's, it's, some of them are pretty big. But these are all for, like, next year, you know, next season, next winter. So, these will dry out by then. But you don't want to cut super skinny pieces because they'll dry out too fast and you're not going to be able to sell them next year because they'll be rotten, you know? And you want this wood to last until whenever you sell it. Because we we don't sell any wet wood. It's all it's all been seasoned and dried. Like this right wood right here, this color, perfect. Burns, it burned really good. So yeah, that's splitting huge rounds with the TW5. Those pieces were three foot around, and I bet you that piece right there, if it was still connected and we didn't cut it in half yesterday, man, that'd be a hard time, you know? It, we really wouldn't. I don't think, I think this thing would pick it up, but, it, you know, it, it comes down to, like, you have to work with it, you know? So these round pieces are the best, but, you know, that's pretty big <laughs> to be splitting. But, you know, we can get through it. Yeah, we, we was on a rush today because uh, we have Easter dinner to go to. And we wanted to get a few pieces done and show you guys. I really don't like working under a rush because my grandpa, he, he like, rushes. He rushes, you know. And, you know, you want to take your time working with a machine like this so you don't cut your finger off. But, yeah, we, that's, what we, that's what we did today. And, um... Hope you guys enjoyed. This thing can do bigger pieces than that, but this thing has lasted us a long time, and it's a trooper, man. Let me tell you, 14 years it lasted us. 14 years. Everything's stock. Everything's brand new still. We might, I usually, they never cleaned it off, but I usually clean it off in the summer now that we got a pressure washer makes it look nice and um yeah this thing's a beast if you guys are ever looking into buying a tim timber to tw5 go for it man this thing's and with the table on it it's unstoppable really some pieces it gets stuck in but man this thing well, this thing was fast you know so it counts up for it we gotta i gotta stack all that sometime this week too because i'm on my spring break but yeah this is all this thing's just a beast, man. And we'll stack that tomorrow. And I guess I'll see you guys next time we film because that's all I got to say for this thing. And that's all I got to say for what we split and cut up yesterday. All right, guys. I'll see you next weekend or next time I make a video. Peace.